What's up everyone? Back with another video as Cardboard Teacher and it has been a long time since I've done one. Now, I've I've been keeping up on others and uh, or trying to, but I just have not found maybe the motivation to make one, but this one is a special shout out to uh, uh, someone I consider a very good friend even though we've never met and that's Tony Psyched on Baseball Cards. And long story short, when I first started watching YouTube videos on sports cards, his videos and G's Mikey, Pepino Man, Baseball Collector, those back pages, um, and a few others, and I'll forget their names, uh, they were the first ones that I watched, and, and uh, I reached out to Tony as I knew he was an A's fan and, and kind of got the ball rolling that way. And I've been able to help him with some sets and some A's cards. And he sent me some things. And and it's never about what you get in return. But today I was blown away with uh, the kindness and generosity of him. He emailed me a while back. Um, I'd sent him a couple cards, I think, for his 65 set that he's working on. And, and he asked if I had a list uh, the 70 set that I was working on. So I emailed it to him and uh, he texted me and said that he found a few and he was going to send some and I didn't expect what he sent. So um, those came today and uh, thank you, Tony, so much. And here's what he sent me. Some very, very, very nice 1970 tops for my set. And um, we'll start with Kurt Flood here of the Phillies. He is number uh, 360. And looks like Joe Hag, number 362 for the Cardinals also. Then we've got number 369 of the Dodgers, pitcher Alan Foster. And these are just in superb shape. Number 370, Tommy Harper of the Seattle Pilots. The next one is uh, number 410. John Boog Powell of the Orioles. And moving along with number 411, the LA Dodgers team card. And I guess I've grown um, kind of fond of the team cards as I've been building sets. Um, I know that a lot of them have been tougher to find um, because, you know, the checklist part of it. Now, the 70s do not have uh, a list of the players that appear in the set on back, but I know the late seventies do and, and some others and, and people would ink them up and they would uh, probably get thrown away or people that did not mark them up, um, kind of squirreled them away and, and uh, they're tougher to find. Uh, the Braves number 413, Sonny Jackson, cool looking pose. Number 435, Pitcher for the Cardinals, Nelson Bryles. Love that backdrop with the batting cage, old school. Uh, number 436, the Philadelphia Phillies team car. There's another one that's just really cool. Look at that old ballpark, just love that. The grandstands and the, the high overhangs. Um, this one is one of them that just caught my eye. And it's number 432, unmarked. And beautifully centered, awesome everything, the fifth series checklist. I mean, that is just super, super clean. Some big names on there, Yaz and Aaron. Those are the all-star cards that you see are at the top. Uh, speaking of an all-star card, number 456, Don Kessinger of the Cubs. And then we've also got... Um, Number 271, Greg Gosson, Greg Goosen of the Seattle Pilots. And number 272, Hector Torres of the Astros. Uh, number 275, Dwayne Sims of the Indians, catcher. It's called the Duke. Number 282, uh, Steve Hunts. Second base shortstop for the Cardinals. Another one that really caught my eye. 
Um, recently lost him this past year. I think it was 2020. Might have been 2019. Um, number 286. It is the Dodgers rookie cards with Billy Buckner. Number 314 of the Padres, pitcher Bill McCool. Got a nice name. And then we got another Rookie Stars, uh, 1970 Rookie Stars, Red Sox, number 317, Billy Canigliaro and Luis Alvarado. Another one that was just amazing to get to add to the set, number 321, Lou Pinella. And just a few left here. Um, number 340, Tony Canigliaro. Of the Red Sox, and we got the 70 Mets stars, Mike Jorgensen and Jesse Hudson. This next one um, played third base for the Astros. Number 355 also later became the manager, I believe. Doug Rader. Maybe not the manager of the Astros, but I, I thought he was a manager at somewhere else. And then this last one, I just was stunned. Um, he mentioned, Tony mentioned in his text to me that he had one that was in a slab that um, I could crack out if I want to. And I haven't decided what I'll do um, for right now. It's going to stay in it. But um, unfortunately, another Hall of Famer that we lost this year, number 330, Lou Brock, and a uh, PSA 6. I mean, look at that. That is just amazing. Um, so, Tony, again, thank you so much. I know that uh, uh, you have mentioned a few times that uh, um, you feel as though you owe me for what I've sent, and that's not the case at all, friend. I enjoy sending stuff out and um, really appreciate it. And if any of you are um, following Psyched On Baseball Cards, reach out to him. Let's help him finish that 65 set. Um, he is uh, working on that one, and uh, he's starting to make some good progress. So, again, um, Tony, thank you. I hope you all have had a wonderful Thanksgiving. hope you have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.